pretty. Hi, this is Julia with Soap Pretty, and today we're going to make shaving soap for Father's Day. And you can either use it as the straight bar on the face scrub method, or as I'll show you later in the video, on how to do the frothy brush bowl method. This recipe, I went straight to soapcalc.net and I created it myself. I knew the oils that I wanted to use. I didn't want to use coconut because it's a little harsh and it's cleansing and we weren't really here to clean face. We were he we're here to try to prevent razor burn and to condition the face and to have a really great shave. So I know I wanted castor oil. It's very bubbly and conditioning. Olive oil the same. A lot of uh, shaving soaps are only olive oil, which I'm gonna give you that recipe next palm oil very conditioning and slippery I thought these three would be golden and so take a screenshot or pause get down all of the ounces I'm not going to dictate it today I do want you to look at the hardness 15 soft soft soap you need that in order to work the brush up into a lather you need it to be soft you don't want to be there forever trying to to get it to work up into a lather um, like I mentioned, there's no cleansing in this. There's tons of conditioning off the range charts. Oh, it's gorgeous on the conditioning. You should see. Wait till you feel it. It's so soft. The bubbly, it is wonderful. It is wonderful to work up this froth and the bubbles. Um, it's super creamy. Now that is for sure. And I really like the creamy because it'll stay on the face a lot better. It won't just drip off. Um, so this is a really nice alternative to anything store-bought. If anything, it's safer because it's natural. You made it. Just because you took the time to make it, it'll make a great gift. Plus, you might want to augment that recipe a little bit and make a leg and underarm bar for yourself and put something pretty in there. Um, just, just a beautiful fragrance for yourself. So there's many people that like to use a Castile soap. My husband, when he goes to a hotel um, business, he'll come home, bring that hotel soap, and tell me how much he loved it because it was slippery and it helped prevent razor burn. And I thought, well, I can make Castile soap. So I've made Castile soap, um, and I put it in a 10-inch mold and this and cut it into bars and let it dry for and and uh, get hard for about um, six weeks now you could do the same thing in a container and you can wait uh, until it just if you put it in an oven it it hardens it as much as it's going to be mostly um, but I found it doesn't burn the skin if you use it the next day um, if you're going to use it for the purpose of shaving and I would suppose if you want a harder bar you could let it sit but in this case I don't see why you shouldn't use it right away just like the um, the other soap that we discussed that had different oils I, I would add the bentonite clay here as well because it does make it slippery and that's the main secret here in the soap is the bentonite clay to make it really slippery so you might try which one you like better um, if you want to. Castile soap is great for our face too. And I think I would like to try the other one though on <laughs> my face now and make a, a beautiful one that I would like to smell like instead of a lumberjack. And it does smell good though. I really like the men's, the men's um, fragrances in it. But take a screenshot. Um, take a look at the recipe. See what you think. Uh, and these are for those who, who would like that Castile recipe, but let me give you a few shorts. Um, and what I mean by that are these little short videos that kind of explain how the recipe turned out. Then if you really want to know more, keep watching and, um, and then you'll, you'll, you'll learn how to make the recipe. Okay, here we go. Make sure when you're making shaving soap to have bentonite clay and use 1.5 tablespoons, that's one and a half tablespoons of bentonite clay per 16 ounces or one pound of shaving soap. And you will have a great slippery soap. Wait till you see. 
So this is what it turned out to be like. We've already used this once. It works out really well. This is what my husband uses. It has a little bowl on the stand, so it drips down in there. The first thing you want to do before you shower is get some really warm water started. Now this is warm. So then you go take a shower and or whatever, get dressed and come back and it's plenty wet and then you're going to want to just work. Work with it and I think as it goes down further, you'll get less mess drip over, uh, dripping over on the side. And you could just do that. See how that works? And you can just get some more. And some people like to do it in here. And, and, but I think, I think it works better in here. But this is a good bowl to, to wash out your brush. But as you can see, this is nice and creamy, very slippery. My husband's already used the soap and says it he doesn't have razor burn with it. And that is a big deal because that hurts. And this is very soft and creamy. And so it is, oh, smells amazing. I told my daughter that picture a really handsome lumberjack with a red flannel shirt um, cutting down cutting down um, pine trees and then yep that's what it smells like <laughs> it's a very nice um, cedar sandalwood smell and it's, it's just really delicious and my husband really loves it so I hope that you enjoy your new shaving soap for Father's Day and congratulations to all you fathers out there we really appreciate you thank you so when I made this shaving soap I brought in a container like this and it was still kind of wet from the oven and I was kind of dropping it on the counter and the glass shattered on the bottom. Ah, oh, I'm so silly. And so it broke. And so I, it broke down here. So I took it from about here up and I saved some of it. And, um, what I did with it was I got a, a mixer and it was really soft and I kind of made it into, uh, like a, almost felt like like a sticky play-doh I blended it with the with the mixer I just mixed it until it was kind of you know like a soft soap but just you could mold it and so I wanted to see if this would help if this would be a better process rather than just throwing it in the jar and putting it in the oven at 130 and then letting it set up because it's only a 15 in softness anyway, but I wanted to see if this would work any better. So I'm going to bring my husband's stuff over here. Make sure that that it's plenty wet. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it works well. I might start putting it in a plastic instead of the glass because the glass could come off and the glass fits a whole pound this isn't a whole pound look I think I like this one better it just was faster at building up so I guess why it's still gooey after it's gone through gel phase of course if it's still wet you could do what I did. It was just a couple hours later and I got it out and you could tell it had gone through gel phase because it had risen a little bit on the top and had like a little X or something on the top because it had was baking like a loaf of bread or something. Um, not really. And oh wow, this is so creamy. This is a good idea. It doesn't look as good. And the other one worked just fine too, you know. Um, 
definitely very creamy. Look at all of that that you can use right from the jar. Cleanup is easy. Just run water over it and put the lid on it. And so that, that is creamy. That is good stuff. It smells amazing. Anyway, this was my experiment with uh, having broken. And, and I just... I was playing with it a little bit and I just thought, well, I wonder if I can fluff it up and what would happen. And I think it just stays softer when you do it this way. And it, I just, I just think this is really good. This is probably a better way of doing it. So if anybody knows why this is better, you can tell me in the comments or um, just take my word for it. It's better. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Okay, I'm back again. So yes, this is a, a lid from a candle that I get at the store that I really like. Um, and so I've just started putting them in these lids because it was easier and cheaper than buying. But, um, and you can make all kinds of things. You can just put a little piece of wood over there, but you can't say that it'll last very long. So this bar right here is what my husband used to use and he saw me using it on my face. This is just, uh, olive oil and water and lye and I, I'll give you that recipe in this video. This is called Castile soap and I use 1.5. Um, this was a full batch though. This is for a 10 inch mold, a full batch. I put 1.5 lavender, 0.5 spearmint. Very delicious. Very, very awakening and really great for the face. Um, just stay away from the eyes, as always, and soap. So this is what I've been using on my face, and it was a lot bigger bar because I like big, chunky bars. So my husband decided he would try it shaving because he would just wanted to grab something for, you know, just really quick shave, and he really liked it. It was nice and slippery. So I'm going to show you. Now, he never used this until um, I started making shaving soap, so... And that was very, very recent. So I would just get a whole bunch on your hand like this, okay? And you see, it's creamy too, very creamy. Plenty of, now this bar is soft because we use it a lot. And so it's, it has a lot of residue. And it's, uh, or I don't know, the softness of the soap, the cream of the soap. And I always put a little bit of kale and clay, but in this case, if you're gonna make Castile soap just for shaving, because it's just a one oil type of shaving soap, I would add the bentonite clay because the bentonite clay will make it really slippery. Now the, the soap that we just made and put it in those beautiful containers, they also have olive oil, but they also have palm and um, castor and that makes it soft and conditioning and we also have a, a fragrance in those but those were those were more of a manly scent and i do like the enlivening lavender and spearmint but i just wanted to show you what castile soap now if you don't make soap and you want a really good shaving soap for your husband you know, you could just go to a hotel. That's all their soap is in the in the rooms is a Castile soap. And you could tell there's a distinct smell, but they like to put um, lemongrass as a scent, especially for instance, the Marriott uh, Hampton Inn type places. That's what they like. And it's, and they like to use natural things. So I just wanted to show you our Castile soap. It's really good for your face, very conditioning, and it's not uh, like a cleanser for cleaning out dirt, but it does work because it's just very conditioning. Um, so if you want cleansing in your soap, you got to add coconut oil. But coconut oil is harsh. So if you're going to use it on your face, um, I wouldn't use something like coconut oil. Castor makes enough bubbles um, and olive oil. And so anyway, I'm playing. This is fun. I'm having fun. Anyway, well, there you go. There's a couple options for your shaving soap, the Castile Bar, which you'll want to wait six weeks. But the shaving soap, if you've forgotten to get a gift, just quickly get one of these kits from Amazon Next Day Prime or something, or go to run out to a store and get that, and then 
make your own soap. It shows that you're being very thoughtful. The soap would be great. And don't forget a really great fragrance. And if you don't um, have access to a lot, then just go get some spearmint and um, spearmint and lavender, like I told you about. It's really good stuff. So, well, I guess I'm gonna clean up, post this video for you today so that you can get it in time to make a delicious Father's Day um, <laughs> shaving soap and whatever. But go to the dollar store. That's where I went. Don't forget. Go to the dollar store. Get some great containers. Plastic is preferable or ceramic. Glass works really well, too, but you just have to be careful. But, well, happy Father's Day. Here's another. This is... a. Uh, a face face brush that I use on my face. This is exfoliating and this is just a really soft brush. And all you have to do to you wet the I wet the brush a little bit and then I put it on then it got sticky so I wet it some more just now. So and then you just rub your face and you can cleanse it like that instead of using a washcloth. We tend to press too hard with the washcloth and these bristles are nice and soft. And so clean up the ring. There we go. So this Castile soap is really nice. It's very sudsy and smooth and slick. And like I said, it's really good for your face. Very conditioning might help smooth out those fine lines or prevent a few in itself. Okay, there you go, ladies. Here's another little tip for Father's Day. My husband likes really good smells. So I always make sure that I make the shaving soap with really strong smells that I know that he likes. And I'll even ask him, do you like this smell? And I'll have it on my wrist and he'll say, yeah, it's great. And here is, of course, the Castile soap that you can use um, for hand washing or whatever you'd like to do. But my husband also likes to use sanitizer. So I get these by the bulk, these little containers. I put them all over the house. I fill them with sanitizer. He never, he buys a certain kind of sanitizer because he likes the smell. But, um, you know, it's not that strong. And I put lavender in my sanitizer upstairs. And upstairs he used it. And he really, really liked it. So I just put lavender in, in the sanitizer he uses most often. So our, our master bedroom is in the lower level. Um, it's nice and cool in the winter and uh, summer. I really like that. And it's been warm enough in the winter. It's been great. We really like it. Anyway, back on track. So for Father's Day, you could just buy a bunch of these containers and some bulk sanitizer and some lavender and use about a teaspoon in each and just shake it up um, and make your shaving soap. Maybe look for one of those. Um, however, I do recommend you buy these by the bulk. I got that at the dollar store, but it's breakable. I broke one already, um, but I was banging it on the counter a little bit. <laughs> So, so it's not like it's that flimsy, but anyway, just some little extra helps for Father's Day and fresh towels, um, you know, buying a new towel and, and just making it like a hygiene kit. Not that you're saying anything. You can add a nice aftershave or cologne. And so if you don't have any other ideas, but definitely homemade things, um, you know, it just shows that you thought about it in advance and that you went to a lot of trouble. And so there you go. There's some ideas for you. Here's another saving idea. I get these candles a lot. I just took off the plastic rim on the inside. I turn them like this so that the smooth flat surface is, you see how that is? It's kind of hard to tell from this angle. And then you can put a little bar of soap on there or a big bar of soap if you so wish. This is the next one I'm using. And um, yeah, it's great. It's great. That's an old shaving soap that I gave my husband. And here's the one he was using in the process. He would just hold it in his hand and rub it on his face. But then I um, told him about using 
the uh, brush and the bowl and now he likes that better so it's really fun it's really fun I'm gonna put this on his uh, little soap dish today so that he can use this this is a lavender spearmint very delicious one of the first soaps I made oh probably was my 20th or something like that but anyway so yeah now you have a place to put soaps right next to where you like to wash your hands and it's lovely matches everything don't have to worry about mismatchy and it's cheap and how often do you buy candles I mean I, I like to have a candle uh, I probably buy them every time I go out every week I probably buy two anyway so there you go another little tidbit another short well, I hope you enjoyed all those little shorts so you know what you're getting into before you start the recipe. So I like to put all my oils into one container. I like to warm it up in the microwave. You don't have to. You can use a, a glass bowl over boiling water. I do that sometimes with um, making my lip glosses. And of course, um, you want to always add um, the lye to the water you should wear gloves and glasses for safety and make sure you have a well ventilated room so here I'm just measuring things out and you want exact measurements okay so if your digital scale doesn't uh, show up except for every five digits for instance you know like 40 45 50 55 it doesn't show up any ones twos threes or fours then you probably want to get a scale that does that so make sure there's plenty of um, air flow in the room and you know even wearing a mask when you mix the lye with the water um, might be a good idea too because it can take your breath away and cause a little pneumonia um, so you want to be careful but it's uh, once you respect the process you're safe so here I am checking the temperature of the water and making sure that I I like to add the fragrance to the oils because the fragrance are a lot of times they're naughty and they want to speed up the trace process and um, so here I am trying to check make sure everything's the proper temperature because I really do like to process between 90 95 even 100 it just depends on uh, what kind of uh, special colors and techniques that I'm using that day this is no technique whatsoever I just added the bentonite clay and started stirring up. I brought it to trace. And then all I'm going to do now is pour into the containers. It's that easy. Now, I would suggest using those plastic ones that I ended up putting some in. And what I did was I took out, I broke just a little piece off the bottom. So I went maybe halfway down, to, scooped out what was left. And I took a mixer to it and I kept mixing it and mixing it. I guess it's kind of like when you have taffy when you pull taffy and how it changes the consistency I did that with the soap by just putting it into not a blender but a mixer and um, a hand mixer and so it turned out really great I just wanted to reiterate that these jars were put into a 130 degree oven and then shut off this is a special dehydrator oven and I just leave them in there until the next day but it was this time that I wanted to see what it looked like in the jar and as I was messing with it I broke one and that's when I scooped out the top half and I put it in a mixer and and started experimenting and I think next time I'll add a little shea butter while it's in there and see what happens I don't know I I like to experiment and share with you so you don't have to make the same mistakes I make or maybe you do I don't know but if you figure something out enlighten me leave me a comment well I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day and I hope that they love this marvelous shaving soap this is Julia was so pretty <gasps> so pretty